long time viewers by now will know that I made this channel about a year ago and the intention of this was not necessarily to make money, not necessarily to get famous or notable, but I wanted to really document my own journey, right? Through time, see what happens as I get older, see what topics I'm talking about both now and in the past and reflecting on that sort of stuff is a great learning exercise and there's so much I learned from looking back. But today's video is another lesson, it's something that I've just learned now, it's something that I'm just realising now. And I always say, it's my intention to be able to hopefully teach people something. And again, if there's something that I know, and it can be of use to somebody, to me that's really good. Now, the topic of today's episode revolves around one word really, and the word is momentum. So welcome back to what is a very sunny day. A deceivingly nice day because although it's really sunny today it's been on and off rain all day and it goes between being extremely hot and extremely cold so right now in this uh, jacket I'm literally boiling and a bit ago it was absolutely freezing anyway let's get into the topic right and let's focus back on that word of momentum because momentum is a topic that I've uh, a fact that I've spoken about before it's uh, something that is kind of relative and necessary in my opinion to the goal of success that I want to achieve. Now for those who don't know, and I say this for a bit of context, right? I do a few things in life, right? I'm a student, I make these videos, I make Patreon, I've got a Patreon page which people subscribe to, and um, I also do reselling, and whilst those are my main things, I have a few other secondary things, right? I'm always at the gym, and I'm always trying to build new streams of income because I've said it in a video before, it's my genuine th opinion from the lifestyle that I've had that for most people money is 90% of their problems and what I mean by that is if you had more money you wouldn't have to go to work as much, you'd be less stressed, all that sort of stuff. So for that reason it's always in my best interest to get more money, right? I'm not saying that, you know, money's the be all and end all of life, but let's be honest, right? If you're broke and you need to pay your bills, in that, in that situation it is. So that's a bit of that's a bit about what I do for those who are watching for the first time and this is a bit of context so for the past year maybe two yeah I'd say two really everything's been going super well really nice I have been a student like I've said in the past I do a business studies degree which is arguably not the best topic but it's what I do it's what I've done so there you go and uh, yeah, smashing it on my degree, smashing it in life, businesses growing, I've been documenting the journey, growing new businesses, YouTube, Patreon, blah, blah, blah. Things have been going really well. And I made a video probably about, what, a week or two ago now, because I've, yeah, it will, it will have been about a week ago, because I've just turned 21 years old, and I said for me, this is a brilliant opportunity for reflection. And what I mean by that is, look, you may think you're doing really well at a certain age, but then you can look at what you're not doing that well on and what you can reflect on and do better with. And that's how I keep growing, right? And this reflects back to the topic of momentum. Because it's a mistake that I've made, and again, it's a learning lesson for myself, maybe for other people. The momentum in, in recent weeks, for me, has just slowed a bit. It really has. And it's not something that I take pride in, but it's something that I've learned, and it's, and it's helping me. So it's a bit of context, right? And again, putting this to the audience helps me to be more accountable. So I've been looking back, like I say, looking at what I've done in the past year. And it's like, yeah, I'm doing really well. But in the past month, what's happened? Or the past two months or the past three months? The rate of progression appears to be slowing. And like I say, for myself, it's all about analysing and asking why, why, why? You know, you know you're know, doing well, why? What's happening recently, why? And then you ask why is the rate of progression slowing? And then I start to answer the question. Now I think I'm one of these people myself who is never really satisfied. Not satisfied, but content perhaps. And what I mean by that is pe people always take that as a really negative thing. It's like, oh, you're never happy. Most of the time I'm very happy. I am very happy. I think in life, generally, I am a very happy person, a very optimistic person, and I think I'm all right. So how can I say I'm never content? What I mean by that is, I feel like for me, the goal is never done. So, I've built the businesses that I've built, and then I've got friends who are my age, maybe a little bit younger or older, and they're like, oh, you're doing super well, man, you don't have to work all this, you've got your freedom. I'm like, yeah, I have, but I'm still not content, because step one, perhaps, is unlocking your freedom, your free time, and your thoughts, but then what's step two? Is it continuing to do that? Is it doing it for other people in the world? So, like I say, it's one of the reasons, 
because it's not just a money-making exercise, right? It's one of the reasons why I launched my Patreon course and this YouTube channel. Because, like, I saw a trend in my life. Like, you know, I'm building these businesses, this and that. I see a trend, it's going well. And, you know, for the first time, as an adult, I, I saw the potential of, okay, making money for me is not just something that I did as a kid. It's something that I can continue to do into adulthood. And I thought, right, this is really exciting. But I wasn't content. So what I did is I started making YouTube videos, started making Patreon after that because I wasn't content with the YouTube videos. And that's how it works for me, right? I always feel like I need to be on a path of progression. But like I say, it's a perhaps a bit of a juxtaposition for most people, the concept of being happy whilst not being content. And what I mean by that is this. Let me explain a bit more context first. Because I've been so happy, I've kind of taken my foot off the gas a little bit. And what I mean by that is... Look, you've got enough money, which is, like I say, most people's stress, so that's kind of sorted. You've got a, a good amount of free time, and again, that's a big stress, so that's another thing sorted. And it's like, life's going super well, right? And that's good. But what I think happens then is you then start to forget what's put you in that position in the first place. Like, yeah, you might have however much money, but it's the working on your business that's like got you there. Or you might have whatever free time, but the same applies and this and that and and you forget that perhaps because when you're in that cycle of being happy and always being happy it's always the next thing and I don't mean that in terms of business I mean that in terms of fun so when you're in a position where you are happy or, or I am at least you don't you don't you're not going to work right you're not going to work as hard because you don't need it and what I mean by that is when I was broke 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 which is some time in the past now, because I've been good at managing money and stuff like that. But when I was really poor, or, or really relatively poor, you know, looking back on those times, maybe I was slightly less happy overall, but I was really hungry for that success. Because you needed it. Like, you guys will understand what I mean. Because you need it, You, if you really are that sort of person who's driven, when you need it, you will not quit. And that's what led to me being so successful, right? Because I needed it. I, I needed a different lifestyle of change. And um, it led to me wanting to work super, super hard. And I did. And now I'm in a position where I don't need it. And that sounds like a really entitled thing to say, which is why I'm going to bring bring this video full circle and explain everything. I know my videos are getting longer and longer, but it's because I'm sharing more detail with you guys and more of my thoughts. So my point is, back then I needed it. Now I don't. And looking at how that shapes my life, it's like, okay, so my average day now, the eBay, I'm probably going to make, not every day, but most days, I'm probably going to make sales, whether I list or not. That's just the truth of it, right? The YouTube is easy, let's not lie. Film a couple of videos, it's, it's good, but I'm not going to act like it's hard. The Patreon is relatively easy, it's just sharing your knowledge, and of course the live calls. So life's quite easy. And again, then you look at your day-to-day, -day and you find that you're having more and more, like, I, I suppose, pleasure without the work, right? So you're going out more and more. And again, then you look at other things, and it's like, look, when everything's in place, you've got the car, you've got a nice social circle, you've got the girls in your life that you want, you've got the income, which is a position that I do find myself in, to be honest. It's like, okay, well why, well, why would I do it? Why would I do more work? But I suppose, to bring this full circle to what I'm about to discuss, I need to reflect on the point of what got me in this place in the first place, right? If I had just stayed boring, non-adventurous, I'd, I'd still be broke. I wouldn't have the knowledge that I have now. I wouldn't have had the life experiences that I have now. So what I'm saying is this. Look, I might have everything that I want, to be honest, right? We could talk about having nicer things, but the people in my life, I can't, I can't ask for nicer things, right? Brilliant social circles and the like. Um, great family. But in terms of like material assets, right? We could ask for nicer cars, nicer house, blah, blah, blah. But that's a different point. My point is... What got me to this point is a level of hard work. And because of the sort of position that you find yourself in now, I guess, you're in a position where you don't need to do that hard work and you find it therefore perhaps more challenging. 
But then I thought about this, right? Again, on the topic of being content. I was always happy and I am happy now. But I find myself working less and being less proud. I can have as much fun as I like, right? We'll go out, of, I don't know. I went on a drive like 200 miles last night for no reason. No, I'm not worried about the cost. I had great company. It was fun. But this is a point, right, at the end of the day. That makes me happy, but it doesn't make me feel content full. It doesn't make me feel like I'm fulfilling my purpose fully. And then I reflect on what does. So lucky for me, I've, I've done a lot of stuff, right? If I'm honest, I have. And what I mean by that is this. I can remember times where I felt the utmost pride. And I still feel proud of myself, I'm not going to lie. But I remember the times where I felt the utmost pride. And these were the times where I was working quite hard. And it's like, yeah, it might be a bit of stress, it might be this and that. But you are very proud of what you've done, what you've got, what you achieve. And it's, it's a happy time to be in. So yeah, it's like the hard work pays off. So looking at today, what my life is like today, genuinely I find myself having more and more fun. But I think it's that contrast in the first place that makes life special. So what I mean by that is, it's the day, like I said before, it's the days where I was hungry and needed it that I was really flying, right? It was the days where I was in university and I thought, look, I don't want this office job. That was when I was flying successfully, massively successfully on my eBay business. It's the days where I was in school being told that I need to do my GCSEs that, that I was smashing YouTube videos, right? And college as well. So what's my point, right? My point is this. I think, for me, I've taken my foot off of the gas a bit because there was no need to keep it on. But then I think about it, that makes me... I I'm happy. It gives me more free time. But then that time's kind of of less value because you're less proud of it. You feel like you've earned it less. And again, you can take your foot off the gas in all parameters of life, but I've realised that this is a bit of a mistake because I'm full of energy, right? I'm only 21, I'm full of energy, I can smash the gym every day, I can do what, two hours of listings and then go, and then go hang out with my friends, it doesn't make me miserable to be able to do that, that stuff as well, it makes me feel more happy because it makes me feel like I've got a purpose. And that's what I'm trying to say here, I don't know how I'm going to word this, I'm sure it makes more sense watching it back than it does filming it. I'm not saying it's an office job, right? I'm not saying it's anything that I don't necessarily like or find relatively easy, but we find our pleasure in life through purpose, if we're honest, right? Or at least I think genuine hardworking people do. And what I mean by that is, look, I, I want to keep doing my businesses, right? The make money from your phone stuff is super cool. The YouTube stuff is super cool. The eBay stuff super cool. It's great. I love it. And I'm not trying to quit at all. I'm very proud of what I've done, and I see, a, I see a genuine path here if this continues. But I'm not giving it my all. And life is showing that, right? Life's reflecting that. And then I think about it, right? Look, to, the, the age of 20 is when stuff started to get a lot easier. I have enough money, I have enough free time, I have enough self-confidence, I've built um, level of muscle in the gym that I'm proud of, right? All this sort of stuff. Life's brilliant. But how much more brilliant would life be if it was 10 times better? If, yeah, I had all the free time, but my car was a McLaren and I was going on holiday everywhere I want or I was building a business, right? And even staying here. And then I think, right, I've got to put my foot down 10 times harder. Look, I know I'm holding myself accountable here and perhaps therefore it's a not very valuable video, I don't know. But what I'm saying is this, we all have this tendency because we're all humans to, to, to only take stresses at face value and to only deal with things when they become important and necessary. And what I'm saying is this, that's fine. But for a life of excellence, I've got to put my foot down. I'm sure a lot of you guys will relate in your lives. So for now, what am I trying to say? I'm going to be working much, much harder. I'm going to be trying a lot more new things and I might even put myself in a few positions that I'm slightly uncomfortable with to improve my life. Now I'm not sure what this looks like and like I say, for me it does not mean going to get a 9 to 5 office job. I might pick up a, a small job, you know, may, maybe part time to fill my time and also to remind me of what life could be like. And that might sound like a, well, 
so, you, so you're depressing yourself on purpose. No, that's not what I'm saying at all. It gets me more money in anyway, right? Let's be honest, I can work... If, if I picked up a short contract, I could work over the, overtime if I wanted or do the minimum hours. And I'm not saying that I will get a job, but it's an example, right? More money coming in. And also, it will remind you of why what you're doing is so important. Why it's so important to really boost the businesses. And it's also a great backup plan, right? It's also a great plan B. But But in my head, right now, everything's so comfortable and it shouldn't be i've got to go and seek more adventure more risk more excitement and i mean that in a way that's genuinely going to better my life i know a lot of people get to a point where they're fulfilled and then they go for all of the typical i guess vices like um i don't know drinking or or partying or stuff like that that's not me right that's not me i feel like there's so much more that i can achieve past this age and past this point so you're going to notice a change, I hope. If I know, I know you are, because I'm going to hold myself accountable every day. You're going to notice a change, perhaps in the content, perhaps in the, the amount of content, new projects that I announce and say that I'm doing. Maybe I will announce that I've got a, a part-time job, or something like that. Or maybe all of it, hopefully all of it. Because I'm getting to a point now where not only do I need to hold myself accountable, but I need to hold myself accountable for others. And what I mean by that is, look, we're nearly at 2,000 subscribers, which, which obviously I've had more subscribers in the past, but this is the first time I've ever done anything like this. And what I mean by it is, it's just me telling stories to the camera. And people watch, but because people watch, and because I get such lovely comments off you guys, I've got to make sure that I am continuing to advance to the level that you want to see and that I need to be. Like I just said, I think I'm very lucky because I've got the contrast and I've seen things in the past. But I will say, yeah, it's the times where you need it the most that you've got to work hardest. And like I say, everything in my life right now is fine. But I think now I'm going to start aspiring to different things. Because fine is not enough, right? I want big things. It doesn't make sense to live a life of average for me. Especially when I've got so much time and energy. Look, I'm not sure exactly what that's going to look like, but I know it's something that a lot of people find themselves in the position of. They don't want to do the work, right? And I do want to do the work. I do. And this is why I'm so glad that I have this mindset of being able to reflect. Because if I didn't reflect monthly, daily, weekly, then I'd find myself in a position maybe in 5, 10 years where I am genuinely trapped. But how far am I into this mistake? Like I said, maybe a month or two where I can't be as bothered. But because I'm able to note that and then talk about it both to myself, you know, within myself and then here on YouTube, I'm able to find the solution, which is, look, it's, it's momentum, right? It's momentum. It's like a rocket. You might think you can coast for a couple of years, but what's the point? What's the point? I can probably get away with this lifestyle, to be honest, for maybe another five years or so. And what I mean by that is very low effort, just continuing to do the basic stuff. I'll be fine. But why do that? Wouldn't you want to put the opposite true? Maybe do five years of hard work or ten years of hard work and then go be free forever. Now, of course, life is not guaranteed and life is finite. And I don't know how long I'll have. But if we're talking statistically, the chances that you'll make it all the way through is high. So what I'm saying here is this. Young people like myself, we get to a point, I think, where we don't think about the future as much as we should. We don't consider what the future looks like and, and how what we do today impacts that. By reflecting as I have here today, I give myself the opportunity to take action. And now I'm going to look back and think, okay, so this is what I've set out. You know, it's been a week after my 21st birthday which is fine, right? I had I had a week. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna complain. That's fine. And what I mean by that is I had a week of fun, right? So But now you're twenty one. Which is fine. Like I say, genuinely, right? I've got I've got my own businesses at twenty one that make me enough money to live on. I'm not gonna act like I'm failing in life, but why am I not a hundred percent putting in effort? If I did that, I don't know what life will look like. But I do know that I'll find out in the next 6, 12, 18, 24, 36, 48 months, right? 
because I'm going to do it. And I'm going to continue to hold myself accountable to what this looks like. So perhaps this is just a video where I share my experiences, which I don't know if that's of more or less value because I'm not necessarily saying what other people should do or what I think in regards to that. It's, every, it's everyone's own mission to decide what success looks like for them, but look, I, I, I want to have businesses, I want to have free time, I want to have adventures, but also for the time being, I want to have that contrast. I want to know why I need that. I want to know why I need it. Because look, I've said it before, right? I grew up in a relatively poor household. But this is the thing. Because I hit it lucky, let's say, I wouldn't call it lucky because there is an element of work. But look, I, I was about 16, 17 in school and college getting paid more than the teachers from making YouTube videos. And don't think I spent all that money because most of it's still in savings. So what I'm saying is this, because I hit it so lucky, look, I've never had to have the part-time job or the full-time job or the stress. Not really. And a result of that is, even though you have come from a poor upbringing, it gives you the same sense of entitlement that people from a rich upbringing has. Because in terms of actual actually having to work very, very hard, you're seeing the same thing. But then again, that's also a beautiful advantage. Because my work's so easy, you know, like I say, the eBay, the YouTube, let's say I make YouTube videos and do eBay and do Patreon, maybe it's an hour to make a Patreon video, maybe it's, well actually I bulk film the YouTube video, so I might film three or four in a row, that might be an hour or two, um, that's easy, and the, and the eBay, yeah that's something that I do every single day, but that might take one to two hours. You can do that alongside a part time job, you can do that alongside trying new businesses as well, maybe do all of those things combined, hit more, hit more time in the gym. And then see what life looks like. That's what I did in the last year. And that's why I felt so terrific, terrifically proud of myself. But it's about taking those lessons and learning the fact that it's actually putting that work in that makes you so proud. That makes you feel like everything's an achievement. That makes everything feel worth it. If I stop working, even if it's only on my projects, I'm probably going to feel a lot less achieved in everything that I do. So it's time to get back to work, eh? And, and it's time to give it a proper go. Properly, like I have in the past, right? So I'm going to be putting in full effort and everything, right? And I'll let you know what that looks like. I will keep you guys updated. And again, even if I was to get a part-time job or something like that, it's not me giving into the idea of the Matrix or something like that. It's actually the opposite. It's me reminding myself why I can't be stuck in a typical lifestyle, right? It's why I can't do it. But it's why... It's seeing that that will give you the realest wake-up call to why that's so important, experiencing that for yourself, and stuff like that. And again, it will give you extra money on the side, because like I say, mission number one really for me at the minute is just stacking more money. So yeah, if I put in a full full work, as, as hard as I can, in every realm, every realm, so if anyone's going to say in the comment section, well you should work on this or you should work on that, look, I know, I know it. You're not telling me something that I don't already know. And I appreciate people's insight, right? If you can teach me something, that's brilliant. And I, I really do appreciate it. But what I'm saying is this. Everything that I need to do, I know. Because I've been doing it in the past. I've seen it. And I just need to do it. So I'm going to keep smashing it, guys. I'm going to keep trying my best. And I'm going to be trying harder than ever before. Because like I say, nothing left to lose, really. But if I know, perhaps that's not true. A lot to lose, because like I say, life's comfortable, life's, life's great. That means that you've got everything to lose. But you're also so early on that you've got everything to gain. So if I really put in a full work, and my, if I put in the work that I put in last year over, what, one, two years, if I put in that work over five years, and if I'm this happy after doing that for only just one or two years, how happy will my life be after doing that for five or six? Let's find out, right? And I hope you guys will join me on the adventure. So like I say, just in reflection for the end of this video, it has really just been me telling my story. So I don't know how valuable that'll be. It's what I've learned and it's what I wanted to share with you. I think as well, doing that, sharing that, will hold me to account. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys will not make the same mistakes in your future. But that's it for today. Thank you. I'll see you in the next one. But let me know what you think, eh? Do you have the same sort of situation? And how do you resolve it? For me, I learn from my mistakes, right? I saw myself making this mistake and I'm going to fix it right away. But it is a mistake that I saw myself making 
and both by documenting it here on YouTube, A, to hold myself accountable and B, to check in on my progress in maybe six months a year, by documenting it, I've been able to outline it, what it actually is, and also point it out in detail. So again, thank you, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.